For all these things purposed I in my mind to seek out. The rictuous and wise, yea, and their works also, are in the end of God. And there is no man that knoweth either the love or eight of the thing that he hath before him. It happeneth unto one as unto another. It goeth with the rictuous as with the ungodly, with the good and clean as with the unclean, with him that offereth as with him that offereth not. Like as it goeth with the virtuous, so goeth it also with the sinner. As it happeneth unto the perjured, so happeneth it also unto him that is afraid to be forsworn. Among all things that come to pass under the sun, this is a misery, that it happeneth unto all alike. This is the cause also that the arts of men are full of wickedness, and mad foolishness is in their arts as long as they live, until they die. And why? As long as a man liveth, he is careless. For a quick dog, say they, is better than a dead lion. For they that be living know that they shall die, but they that be dead know nothing, neither deserve they any more. For their memorial is forgotten, so that they be neither loved, hated, nor envied. Neither have they any more part in the world, in all that is done under the sun. Go thou thy way then, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with gladness, for thy works please God. Let thy garments be alway white, and let thy aid want none ointment. Use thyself to live joyfully with thy wife whom thou lovest, all the days of thy life which is but vain, that God hath given thee under the sun, all the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life, of all thy labour and travail that thou takest under the sun. Whatsoever thou takest in on to do, that do with all thy power, for among the dead, whereas thou goest unto, there is neither work, counsel, knowledge, nor wisdom. So I turned me unto other things under the sun, and I saw that in running it helpeth not to be swift, in battle it helpeth not to be strong, to fedding it helpeth not to be wise, to riches it helpeth not to be subtle, to be had in favour it helpeth not to be cunning, but that all lieth in time and fortune. For a man knoweth not his time, but like as the fish are taken with the angle, and as the birds are catched with the snare, even so are men taken in the perilous time, when it cometh suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and methought it a great thing. There was a little city, and a few men within it, so there came a great king and besieged it, and made great bulwarks against it. And in the city there was found a poor man, but he was wise, which with his wisdom delivered the city. Yet was there nobody that had any respect unto such a simple man. Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, a simple man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. A wise man's counsel that is followed in silence is far above the crying of a captain among fools. For wisdom is better than harness, but on unthrift alone destroyeth much good.